Could you pick out the three most effective leaders in history and why you selected these three leaders? Well, I tell you, you hit me right between the eyes with that, and I, I suppose it would take a, a lot of reflection. Obviously, I think first to the history of our own country. I think of men like General Washington, who took that ragged, tattered band of men uh, at a time when one great historian, Douglas Southall Freeman, said in the black year of the Revolution, there were literally less than 500 people in the colonies who were willing to pledge their lives, their fortunes and their sacred honor for the cause of the Republic, he took that little remnant and made it into a force that was capable of defeating the better financed, better equipped, better trained uh, British expeditionary force. So clearly he was a leader. He was not only a leader in a military sense, but he was a man who had the kind of magnificent concept of freedom that enabled him to serve as the first president of this Republic. Uh, next, I think of Lincoln, who served during certainly the most difficult period in our history next to that revolutionary era, and uh, who was able, despite all of the divisiveness of that civil war, uh, to win the war and to espouse the kind of principles of charity and humanity that enabled us to bind up the wounds after the war and remain a united country. So. Lincoln clearly, in my mind, because of his noble expression, his, his ungifted, his absolutely limitless power uh, of uh, expression, I think, uh, um, served as a great leader. I think thirdly, uh, in our century, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a great leader. He was not a member of my party, but I can nevertheless admire the ability that he had to fulfill that requisite of leadership of which I spoke just a moment ago, the ability to inspire confidence in a weary nation that had almost lost faith in itself. Uh, he came along and said that we had nothing to fear but fear itself, and then went on to recommend in a very dramatic way a series of policies that enabled us to overcome some of the effects of the Depression. So at least uh, as I look at our country, and obviously you could go to European and world history and pick out other great leaders, but those are three great American leaders, I think, that I would admire.